Good morning guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be awesome guys because I have something very special to show you all. It's a brand new gaming laptop from Asus. But it's not any other ordinary gaming laptop. This is their top of the line premium powerful ultra slim gaming laptop. Like seriously guys, this gaming laptop has a thickness of only around 1.5 cm. It's super slim gaming laptop. But you guys might be like, okay, it's very slim, but what about the hardware? What does it pack? Here comes the fun part. This gaming laptop is powered by Intel's 8th gen i7 CPU and comes with a beast RTX 2070 GPU and 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. That sounds awesome, right? So in this video, we're gonna unbox and check out this brand new laptop. The name of this laptop is ROG Zephyrus S. All right then, let's get started with the video. So the all new ROG Zephyrus S gaming laptop comes in this sort of box packing. It's a premium gaming laptop which is super slim compared to the regular ones yet offers hardcore gaming experience. So the laptop comes in this simple red and black themed box, you've got the Republic of Gamers logo on the front and that's it there's nothing else over here. Going to the side you've got the ASUS branding and at the back of the box you've got the specs of the product. Let me show you. The model of the laptop we'll be reviewing in today's video is GX531GW. It comes in a beautiful black metallic color. The Zephyrus S GX531 has a 15.6 inch Full HD display, is powered by Intel's i7-8750H 6-core CPU and a beastly RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU. Talking about the storage, it's got a 512GB PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD and 8 plus 8 DDR4 dual channel RAM. That's it, so those were all the specs. Now let's get started with the unboxing. On opening the box, we can see two more boxes on the inside. Let me show you. There's an accessory box here guys, we'll check it out later. And this is the main box which has a laptop. Let me take it out of this foam packaging. There you go, this is how the box packing looks like. You've got the ROG logo on the front and for some reason this box kinda reminds me of the PS4. Don't you guys also think the same? Let me know in the comment section. And well, here it is. On opening the box, we've got the ROG Zephyrus S at the top. It comes nicely packed in a cover. We'll check it out in a moment. First, let me show you what else do we get in the package. Okay, what's this? Looks like some sort of accessory box. It even has the ROG logo on the top. Let me open it and show you. Alright, you just have some paperwork. It's a user manual and a warranty card. Just make sure to read them. And in this box, you get a power adapter and a mains card. It's a 19.5 volt, 11.8 amp DC power adapter. So that's it guys, those are all the items you got in the box. Now let me finally show you the laptop. So here it is, a brand new ROG Zephyrus S GX531. Oh my god, this thing is an absolute beast. Guys, just look how thin it is. It's a super slim gaming laptop and weighs only about 2.1 kgs. Even though it's so slim, this thing is a quite powerful beast that comes with an RTX 2070 Max-Q on the inside. So first, let's talk about the design and the build quality. The ASUS Zephyrus S looks gorgeous from my first look. The body is entirely made of metal and looks premium with a two-tone design. It's got a matte metal finish on one side and a brushed aluminum finish on the other. Looks really gorgeous. Talking about the build quality, the build quality of the product is top-notch. The body is entirely made of aluminum and has an ultra-slim profile. I also really love the diamond-cut copper-colored chamfered edges all around the body. Now let me show you all the available connectivity ports on the laptop. Going to the left side, you've got an exhaust here, a DC in port, a USB 3.1 Type-C port, two USB 2.0 ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right side, you've got a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C with Display Port 1.2. Beside that, you've got a USB 3.1 port and another big exhaust vent. That is not the end of the list, guys. Going to the back of the laptop, we've got even more ports over here. First of all, there are two more exhaust vents to let the heat escape and at the middle, you've got a HDMI 2.0 port and a Kensington lock just beside that. And this is how the bottom of the laptop looks like. It's got an all black paint job and the body is made of a single block of aluminum. You've got some product details here, a lot of rubber foot pads on all the corners and a Republic of Gamers logo on the bottom right. Well, that was our complete look at the design and the build quality of the laptop. Now let me open it and show you. So this is how the Zephyrus S looks from the inside. It's got a completely new design compared to the previous Zephyrus M. You've got the ROG Zephyrus branding here, 
and the laptop comes with a 15.6 inch full HD 1080p IPS display with 100% sRGB color gamut. And not only that, it's got a super high 144Hz refresh rate with an ultra fast 3 millisecond response time and also comes with high res audio. Talking about the bezels, it's got super thin bezels on three sides of the display, but the bottom bezel is a bit thick. Going to the top, you got a webcam and some sensors beside that. So that was about the upper half of the laptop. Now let me tell you about the design. It's got silky scissor door hinges that open up smoothly and are very well built. And as soon as you open the lid, you can instantly notice a slight increase in the height. This design is called the ROG Active Aerodynamic System, which creates a 5mm air intake opening on the bottom of the body to increase the airflow by up to 22% and keep the system running cool. The laptop has a special cooling design with dual self-cleaning anti-dust fans that maintain optimal thermals and improves long-term stability and reliability. We'll talk about the thermal performance at a later part in the video. Now let's check out the lower half of the laptop. So as soon as you open the laptop, you'll see a completely new keyboard layout and positioning. The entire keyboard is pushed to the bottom of the body with the trackpad located on the right side. Now this is something really unique and only found on the Zephyrus laptops. You've got the ROG logo here and this upper part is entirely dedicated for cooling. It's got two powerful anti-dust fans that suck air from the top and keep the system cool. You can observe we've got a lot of vents over here. And going to the top, we've got some status LED indicators. Let me just give you a closer look. You've got a power indicator, a battery indicator, as well as a HDD indicator. Now let me tell you about the keyboard and the trackpad. First, let me give you a closer look at the keyboard. The Zephyrus S has a beautiful RGB backlit chiclet keyboard with highlighted WASD keys. It offers a key travel of 1.2mm, has N key rollover and offers 4 zone RGB lighting. There's no dedicated number pad on it, but with just a click of a button, the trackpad itself converts into a number pad. Awesome, right? Now let me tell you about the comfort and the quality. Since the keyboard is placed at a new position, you might be a bit confused with the layout in the beginning, but once you get used to it, the keyboard will feel just fine. It's quite comfortable to use. The quality of the keys is also very nice. They feel tactile and provide good feedback while using. The only thing I felt was the keycaps on the keyboard were totally flat, unlike the curved keycaps found on the SCAR 2. That would have given much more comfortable typing experience. Talking about the lighting, it's got 4 zone RGB lighting instead of perky RGB and the lighting on it can be completely synced and controlled with the ASUS Aura Sync software. Now let me tell you about the touchpad. The touchpad on this laptop is placed on the right corner of the keyboard and as I've told you there's no dedicated number pad on it. By pressing a special button, the touchpad doubles up as a number pad. The quality of the touchpad is good, it feels smooth while using and accurately detects my finger movements and gestures. I didn't face any sort of dead zones also anywhere. The only thing I felt was the size of the touchpad was a bit small. And below the touchpad you've got two dedicated left and right buttons. The quality of these buttons was very nice, they felt tactile and clicky. So that was about the keyboard and the trackpad. Now let's talk about the display quality. The Zephyrus S GX531 has a 15.6 inch full HD 1080p IPS display. The thing that makes this special for gaming is it's got a 144Hz super high refresh rate with an ultra fast 3 millisecond response time that offers you buttery smooth gameplay without any sort of screen tearing. So talking about the quality, the display looks absolutely beautiful with super narrow bezels. It's sharp, bright and offers good amount of detail. With 100% sRGB color gamut, the color accuracy, the color reproduction, everything is spot on. The GX531 screen is also Pantone validated. That means it's color calibrated from the factory itself to display precise colors out of the box, which is very critical for professionals like editors, creators and also designers. The dynamic range is also nice, it's got good amount of detail in both the shadow as well as the highlight areas. I was very satisfied with the display quality. Talking about the viewing angles, the viewing angles were good. The picture looks the same no matter from where you view it. And also the anti-reflective matte coating definitely cuts down a lot of reflections and glares, which can be quite annoying while gaming. Now let me just play some video on it and show you how the audio quality sounds like. Hey what's up guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So it's another day and I'm back with a brand new vlog. So it's finally today guys, today is the, the day. The Zephyrus S comes with high res audio dual speakers placed just above the keyboard. So the audio coming out of them is directly aimed towards you. Both the speakers are 2 watts each powered by smart amp technology and the audio quality was decent. It was loud and clear with very minimum distortion. Now let's talk about the benchmarks. 
The ROG Zephyr SS is powered by Intel's 8th Gen i7 8th Pfizer H CPU clocked at 3.9 GHz, has RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU and comes with 16 GB of DDR4 dual-channel RAM. On Geekbench Core, it got a single-core score of 4879 and a multi-core score of 17552. This thing is a beast guys, it can handle almost any sort of task or AAA title games effortlessly. And on OpenCL, it got a score of around 2,18,020. Nothing less expected from a RTX 2070 Max-Q. Alright now let's finally jump into the gaming section. Let's first start with Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 is a AAA title very graphic intensive game. So we'll be playing this game in 1080p at max ultra graphic settings and see how the laptop handles it. And by the way guys I'm using a joystick to play all the games. So yeah before we start let me first show you the graphic settings. First what we'll be doing is we'll play the game with DXR off and then later we'll turn on DXR and see how it performs in both the cases. As you can see right now DXR is off while all the other options are set to ultra. Ok so let's get started. As you can see the GX531 was performing very well even at ultra graphic settings. The gameplay was very smooth and on an average in Battlefield 5 I was getting a frame rate of around 85 frames per second at max graphic settings. Just check out the gameplay. Ok so most of the gameplay part was very good but there's one thing I'd like to tell you. I was experiencing slight stutters or sudden frame drops at times. I don't know why it was happening even though it had quite powerful hardware. And not just this game guys, I've experienced it on other games as well which I've played on the laptop. Ok now let's turn DXR on and check out the gaming performance. Wow, the game looks amazing on the display. Just look at those graphics. Awesome. Talking about the performance, DXR definitely creates an impact. Previously we were getting around 85 to 90 FPS, now we are getting only around 50 to 55 frames per second. Along with Battlefield 5, I've also played Just Cause 4 at max graphic settings. Just check out the gameplay. Hear you loud and clear. I'm going to monitor your progress from a safe distance. In Just Cause 4, I was getting an average frame rate of around 85 to 90 frames per second. The road is walled off. Can you ok now let's talk about the thermals and the fan noise. When the laptop was idle or doing normal tasks, the temperatures were fluctuating around 32 to 37 degrees. But as soon as you start gaming, the laptop gets quite hot after 15 to 20 minutes in the region above the keyboard. And the dual fan starts spinning with a loud noise. The fan noise was quite loud reaching almost 60 decibels and could be a bit annoying especially if you are in a silent room. Finally coming to the battery life, the battery life was not that great just like any other gaming laptop. It comes with a 4 cell 60 watt hour battery. If you use the laptop for intense gaming with the brightness set to 80% then you'll get only around 20 to 25 minutes of battery life. But other than gaming, if you use it for stuff like browsing or streaming videos in the balanced mode then you'll get around 2.5 to 3 hours of battery life. Well that was my review on ASUS ROG Zephyrus S GX531 laptop. It's a beast gaming laptop that is super slim and lightweight yet offers buttery smooth gaming experience. I love the premium design, RGB lighting and has one of the most beautiful displays I've seen in a while on laptops. The only few things I felt the company could have done was, instead of giving USB 2.0 ports, they should have gone with USB 3.0 ports because it's an expensive premium category laptop. The other thing I felt was, the fan noise was a bit loud than usual. And finally, the battery life could have been better. Rest everything else was great. Talking about the price, the Zephyrus S pricing starts from 2,39,990 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that was it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.